So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm telling you guys the horrible, horrible interview story that I have. It was horrific, I was crying, it was terrible, it was bad. And today I am joined by my friend Ben, who's also doing my course. He can introduce himself, actually. Hi. And he's from Australia! Ah! So of. cool! <laughs> hi guys, uh, my name's Ben. I'm a second year car student. Yeah. who does the same course as V and is at yeah. the same college. Yeah. So yeah, for those of you who are new, I'm V and I do Classical Archaeology and Ancient History, which is what CAR stands for, and we're both in second year at Lady Margaret Hall, Oxford. So I know that interviews are coming up and a lot of you have been messaging me saying you're so nervous, you're super scared, so I thought if I share my horrible interview story, you guys will learn from it and not make the same mistakes as I did and then you'll be fine and you'll feel comfortable and at ease, right? Yeah, I had a pretty terrible one as well. Did so you? I, did, I, I haven't did. heard this one so jet I'm quite excited. Well. Jet lags From Australia. Really jet lags. Number one, remember, please remember, getting into Oxford is not the be all and end all of life does not mean that you're going to have a terrible future if you don't get into this place. There are other incredible universities that are just as credible, just as amazing, and they're going to give you a bigger and brighter future just as Oxford would do. So let's get straight into the video because I'm excited. So I'm half Australian, so I was born in London but I lived there for the last yeah. six years, so I did my schooling there. And so I applied from Australia, so already there was quite a big distance already. And uh, interviews are in December, so you can either Skype call or actually yeah. head over there. So luckily I was heading over for Christmas. <laughs> Um, and I then came for interviews and I came to LMH, absolutely loved LMH when I was here. Yeah. And uh, I had my, I had five interviews altogether. Five interviews? Five interviews. Right, we're going to break down everything. Yeah, no, sorry, we should along. try, of course, because, yeah. Yes, right, yeah. so number one, when you get called for an interview at Oxford, you get to come to a college yep. of, it could be any college, either the one you applied to, or you can get pulled, right? Yeah. Right, so you come to, let's just pretend we use Lady Margaret Hall for example. You come to Lady Margaret Hall, you have a bedroom here, they give you food, free food for the entire duration of your interviews. You stay for like three to four days, yep. right? And you get interviewed at different colleges or maybe just at LMH or maybe it just depends on what your tutors want and what subject you're applying for. The main reason I think I had five is I had so one history and one archaeology at yeah. LMH, which is the college I applied to, Ooh. so I had them here. Yeah. yeah. Best college around. Um, <laughs> and then the other college I was into that is Somerville, which is right near uh, LMH. That's a good one too. But, uh, what happened was I got to my Somerville interview and um, just to say as well, if anyone's at the interview stage, everyone is absolutely terrified. Everyone, it doesn't matter who you are. No matter what and it's they so say. interesting to watch as well because a lot yeah. of students try and arrive and kind of act cool and yes. they're all like, yeah, no, I've got this. Anyway, um, I got to the college at about 5 pm and the jet lag hit. And when I say hit, like, I feel sorry really, for international really students that come in. And like, I was given like this little passage which had about 15. <gasps> Persian names, yes. which these really long names, and all I was going was like, Ugh. yes, yes, and like, it was just awful. And that's why I think I had the fifth one is, don't worry if you have a really crap interview, for yeah. them, because often they go, we'll call them back. What was yours like? Yeah. yeah, my second interview came. The first one was fine. I went in for the pre-reading. We read. I went in for the interview with my favourite tutor, Christina, yeah. and it was just beautiful. It was incredible. She was asking me questions, and I was a bit scared and nervous. It was difficult, but you got. I got through it. I don't know what happened in there, but I got through it. And we spoke about my EPQ, something I was passionate about, and made it relate to the ancient world, which is great and brilliant. Now, the next interview, which I thought was the next day, but apparently it was like the same day. I was in a hall, I was relaxing. You yeah, guys. oh, yeah, I remember I this. Were you wearing this by any chance? Imagine. Right? No, I was something similar. You know me, when I go to a hall, I'm comfortable. Yeah. Relaxing, I'm enjoying. I was having hot dogs. It was a beautiful day. I was enjoying. I see my tutors across the room and they're like, their eyes are open wide. They're like, V, what are you doing? I was like, what's the pro? I was like, I've, eaten, I've had interviews. I've been enjoying so long. I'm enjoying. This is V, you have an interview right now. I was like, what do you mean though? Like, actually, it started like 20 minutes ago. Like, you're pre reading. You're missing. Yeah, I'd missed 20 minutes of pre reading. They were like, V, you've got to go. And remember, LMH is far. People say it's far, but on this day, it was the furthest day. Well. It became, I might as well have been in London, that's how yeah. I felt. They said 20 minutes have gone by of your interview, V. I said, okay, so what do we do now? And then I said, where's my interview? They said, Bray's Nose. Bray's Nose, as in the center of town. We are a different post. We're OX2. Brazen Nose is OX1. <laughs> like, can you imagine how, you, how I'm feeling? That's the only reason I do running, is if I'm late for lectures. And this interview was with 
Ed Bissam. Oh wow. Another wow. legend. Ed Bissam is a, a huge legend. legend. This is Mr. Grease. As ben, in Ed Bissam's Mr. Rome. A legend. A living legend. And I said, wow. So I had to get up. I ran to my room, got dressed, called a cab while I was getting dressed because I was in my P like kind of like PJs kind of look. You know me, guys. I just comfy over everything. I had to run to that taxi. We got to town, and the man tells me I can't go to drop you off at exactly where you need to be because taxis can't go in oh, there. Of course, it's closed off. It's a rad cab, oh, and I've never this. been to Brazo, so I didn't even know where I was going. It's like I am running around like a headless chicken. I'm like, where is this place? It's been 25 minutes of my. In I'm missing my interview. Then I finally find it. My legs are shaking. They're doing wobble wobble. And then I got there, and they were like, "Well, we can't change your interview time, so you're gonna just have to go in without pre-reading." I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Can you say it again? No pre reading. With Ed Biss, with a <laughs> legend, Mr. Rome. Mr. Rome. Can you imagine, Mr. Mr. Rome. Mr. Rome. So yeah. I went into the interview. I'm already on edge. I'm shaking. I've been running. I'm, you know, when you're hot and you walk into a room that's already hot oh, and you're sweating with your oh. jacket. And I was like, I can't take off my jacket now because I've already, I'm already late and I've already messed up. And they were waiting for me at this point now because, like, the time has been creeping on. So I'm like, I'm gonna have to sweat. I'm just gonna have to sweat and just sit here. Yeah. My leg is shaking. I'm sweating. Can I just say, no one will experience a worse interview. So if you think oh, it's like a I'm... bad experience, <laughs> this is, what is I'm literally saying. the bottom I'm of teaching you. I am shaking. We get in there, and the whole interview was based on the pre-reading. So they said to me, here you go, we know you missed your pre-reading, but here's the sheet, you can look at it while we ask you questions. So now they're asking me questions based on the paper I've never seen. So now I have to look and scan while they're talking, but I'm not listening because I'm trying to scan for the answers. Horrid, horrible. I don't even know what happened in that. And, oh, I don't even know what happened. They were talking about, what were they talking I think they were talking about Hermes and his emphatic imagery or something. Oh, talking but about I didn't want to say phallic imagery because I thought, am I allowed phallic to say me. For all you out there. If I get demonetized. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, wait, is this PG-13? <laughs> this is, we'll beep it out. But yeah, they're talking about In the phallic, comment. They're talking about phallic imagery, like boy parts. <laughs> beep. Yeah. No. Can you just like, can you put beep? Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. I'm going to have to, that's not a swear, swear that's word. Not right. Beep. Yeah. No Anyway, talk about, talk about phallic imagery. Yeah. I talked about breasts and mine. So if you can't, isn't think, that? You can get and the thing is, I didn't know we're allowed to. Do, like, I know you're allowed, but I thought, but this is like, this Oxford's, is Oxford. This is Oxford. Um, and I'm not gonna. And I could see what the image was, but I didn't want to say that. So I thought they probably. I talk about the eyes or the posture. Yeah. Or, I'm yeah. not gonna be the one to be like. Beep. Yeah. No, it's because yeah. no one had mentioned yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Then at the end of the interview, they're like, oh yeah, this. You, do I, by the way, like this was phallic. Yeah. And I was like, so all along I could have said, I was yeah. walked out of that interview. The moment the door closed, yeah. I broke. I, I oh, never no. cried. So I was like, I called my mum. I was like, just to let you know, this Oxford dream, did you let call, it go. Did you call your mum like every after every interview? Yeah. I was thinking, this is it, it's done. So what am I going to do in January? How do I tell everyone I'm not going to come back? Because yeah. I'm not going to finish this foundation year. And I'm just not going to. I'd already planned the worst. I was like, it's done. It's done. But it wasn't done because I'm. <laughs> um, I had a. So if you think that an interview is bad, I had. So you often get old objects that they have in the actual <gasps> interview. So I was given, yeah. like, I had Thomas Manak, who's like Mr. Vaz. So he, this is Mr. Grease, there's Mr. Mr. Rome, Rome, and he's this is Mr. Vaz. Mr. Vaz's. Any Greek, yeah. any piece of pottery, in he fact, just knows it. He knows it. He. I swear he's yeah. like the one who's so done everything. Cool. I, he's so cool. I can't even get words. We have tutorials with him. It's just oh, it's his awesome. lectures. He's, he's legendary. Legendary. <sighs> I had him, but I also had Paulia Wagner, who is another. She's Miss Gems. I Miss Gems is cool. love her. She's Miss Gems. She has the she's coolest Miss gems, yeah. gems in her room, like, like lined around. Great gems. This is what that's a, when we say Mr. This or Mrs. That. It's because yeah. they really are experts. Like, are. I don't know what else to say. They're like world renowned. In the world. People, people like come to them for analysis on whatever new items are discovered because they are the people. And they've got to read our essays. <laughs> Just think about that. So think about our essays that's, and we have to give them really this. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> to give them this crap. Imagine they've been doing this for like 25 plus years oh, and then I've looked like, like, for five days and you have to Less, mark. less. Five days, V. God, this is for the vlog, right? <laughs> oh yeah, five days, guys, in advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More than like, yeah. like, like, <laughs> day before. Three days. <laughs> three days, yeah, three days. Um, but, yeah. but yeah, I had I had one where I had I was given a Greek 
coin yeah. in my, uh, and I had to put on blue gloves, and that was really, really exciting. So I never touched anything old before. It's an awesome feeling. Yeah. And uh, then they were like, "Yeah, talk about the talk about the coin." And I was like, "Oh, I think it's like a there's a figure on it. I think it's a guy. It might be a girl. I'm not too sure. Any ideas who it is?" And I was like, "Maybe it's the god of war." Like, this was really just jumping. Yeah, it. And then Claudia this. turned to me, looked to me in the face, and said, "No, Ben, those are." <laughs> I literally went, I wouldn't expect ben. to be talking about breasts in an Oxford ben. interview. So if you think That's... you have a bad Oxford interview experience, <laughs> you Vin and I will We've tell had, you that honestly. Had... Honestly, and I think that's why I wanted to share this video yeah. before interviews come up. It's just to let you know, like, you may think the worst has happened, and really, like, you did find... Like, Ed Bisfam, because they give like feedback to like your tutors or whatever, I don't know how it works, but my tutor Christina was like, oh, Ed said you had a really lovely interview. I was like, what? what? I said, you guys are trying yeah. to make me feel, but you're a liar. They're yeah. like, no, like they yeah. said you were really good on your feet and to considering that you hadn't even done your pre-reading, they were really impressed. I said, was it this, are we in the same interview? Yeah, like, exactly. what are you talking about? But my number one top tip, to think out loud. I can't tell you mm. how much that will save you, even if your answer is wrong, even if you work out the wrong yeah. equation in chemistry or biology so or get the wrong body part or whatever yeah. in what if you show them how you thought and how you got there, you can just they can justify that more than just you say one plus one is four and that's that. They'll be like, what? But if you say one plus one is whatever, but then you tell them why you think that they can see where you went say, wrong. Stick with our Imagine. Imagine. She doesn't do maths. Imagine. No, you know what I mean. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they 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 they, they yeah. like they can see why, oh, she went wrong on that part, that's why the rest of it went so bad. True. You're right. But I'm if you don't them tell them you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't tell them how you think, they'll just think you're just, you just think you know it all a lot. No, just. And also, don't worry about getting the question wrong. It's yeah. not about getting the question, unless you're doing like a science subject where you've got even like, then. like, or even then, no, of course, yeah. They want even you to get then. it wrong and actually then they try and work through it, to try and figure out what goes I've, on. Because how boring would that be if someone just walked in and was like, Imagine. that's old, that's old, and just no. told them all about that. Like, they've no. heard it before. So you yeah. get like, um, at Oxford, when you're having your interviews, like we said, because our course is like two things in yeah. one, kind of, you have a few different interviews so that they can test you on your archaeology, your history, all that stuff. So, this is what happens on interview day. Yeah. You get up, you go to the interview room, they take you to another room where you have pre reading for our course. Mm. So, you have half an hour to do your pre reading, 30 minutes, and you read this random piece of text. No one would have. If you have seen it before, you right. you're really good. You're just so, yeah. ahead of the game. No one's seen it. They try to pick something that none yeah. of us have ever seen. So you get there, you have like a piece, this is just my notes, but you have yeah. a piece of paper that's got random text. Mm. You have to read it and just make notes on like, what do you get from it? Just random things, right? And, and that's probably the biggest thing is when you yes. go to the interview, don't expect that you need to come knowing all no. this stuff. And a no. lot of people you do. Because you you know nothing and you no are. one knows anything and they really. actually make it their mission I was talking exactly. to my tutor yeah. to find something that none of you will know or would have studied that's why I had Persian names exactly I, no I don't even know what mine was on it oh, I didn't want to think about it so you have this random piece of paper with random text and you just analyze it then you go to the interview and they ask you questions on that text yeah. just to see how you think because if they've given you something you already know you've got preset answers you're gonna say the right things they want to put you out of your comfort zone they do want to push you they want to see how you think they want to ask you difficult questions just so that you can think out loud the answer doesn't have to be correct that's not the point of this game the game is think out loud say what you think they want to see can we teach you will you do well in this space because guess what on your degree every week you will encounter things you don't know every All single week time. and that's the point of an interview is to give yep. you a little glass peep little. into what your degree would be at Oxford and genuinely every week I'm yeah. like what is this qu I'm like Ben come to my room what is this Which question is yeah, yeah. I just never know what the essays are yeah. about but that's what they want to see what will happen when you encounter things that you have no idea about like, and it doesn't it doesn't matter what you wear Oh, oh that's wear. a massive thing as Don't well. I was, I was staring wear. in the mirror for like about 15 minutes. Honestly, just be yourself, longer. whatever you're comfortable Obviously, modest, like you don't want to, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But whatever you're comfortable with, there's no way, you don't have to wear a suit and a tie. You don't have to. If you want to, that's your choice, but yeah. it's not like what Ben is wearing now is actually fine for interviews. Exactly. Obviously, not a morning gown and like a headband. Do this you is not, to stand up this is this not imagined. <laughs> what Ben's wearing is fine. Yeah. The important thing is just to feel comfortable. Yes. And also, I think the other biggest thing is 
they're not out there to get you. They're not no. sort of, when you sit down, they're like, okay, how are we gonna trip this Imagine. student up? They really care about yes. you. And they're really scared as well, because they've yeah. got to make a huge decision to sort of yeah. let all these students in. Mm -hmm. They don't know. So and Yeah, so basically what we're trying to say is, it's okay to not know the answer. Yeah. It's okay to say, I don't know, yeah. but, this is what I think because of ABC oh, and what I know from my old subjects or whatever else I study, yeah. I think this, but I know that might not be right, but show them your thought process. Yeah. I feel like that's more beautiful than just someone saying, yes, it's, this is it. It's like a yeah, nice exactly. like, monologue. And also, yeah, and, and I, I remember speaking to tutors afterwards and yeah. they were all saying that sometimes they really enjoy interviews because they can actually really see how the student's trying to work yes. through something and trying to figure it out. Yeah. And try and keep on telling yourself that it is a really daunting place and uh, no one really feels super comfortable here. Even in their first year, it doesn't take until their second year that they yeah. really feel like they belong somewhere that it kind of feels like yeah. home. We love you, we're yeah. happy for you. If you've got an interview, congratulations. Yes. If you don't, it's fine. LSE, Exeter, Durham, so many so other many incredible other universities yeah. that will open the same doors and same opportunities. And I'm proud of you for getting into those institutions as well as Oxford or Cambridge. And um, yes, congratulations and good luck yeah. if you guys get in, whatever, make sure you message me and let me know and if you want to talk about whatever you think is going wrong, because sometimes it's in our heads, yeah. um, still message me as well and yeah. Yeah, I love you guys a lot, and awesome. I'll see you in my next video. Lovely Thank you, Ben. No worries. I came for a book, and I ended I up in a vlog. Well, wow. this is this <laughs> good things are unplanned. You very know? true. In fact, very, they very say true. that. So, guys, see you later, and comment down below if you have an interview. In good luck, chat. strength and honor, in the name of Gladiator. <laughs> wait, wait.